Today, we're looking at the Afterglow controller from Prismatic. It's got it, so it kind of changes colors and all that. So let's just go ahead and check it out. This is it without being plugged in. This is how it comes. Actually, it comes with a detachable wire, which is different from what I've seen from like the Power A controllers. Actually, like the overall feel versus an actual Xbox controller, almost the same size. I said this one's a little bit heavier because I have batteries in it right now. But I actually give this props. It actually feels pretty. It, it feels pretty legit like when i'm pressing buttons and it, it actually is not bad at all it all it almost feels like an actual the the 50 controller usd so yeah this is pretty sick so far let's go ahead and plug this in first the first option it's giving us is blue and i see right here it just kind of changes colors all the colors are changing check it out right now with some gameplay all of your actual functionalities of a regular controller this is actually pretty solid man it feels good too it kind of just kind of it changes colors a little bit after so I don't know who is going to like that. I mean, I don't know if you have to press it on functionality or how you lock it. But I mean, it changes colors every time you move around. See, see all that. That's pretty cool. So no matter what you press, it changes colors. So let's go ahead and check the in-depth situation on this. I got to level up this gun anyways. I got to get an RPK going. So gives you a good tactical run. It absolutely does. Doesn't feel terrible. I'm liking this control, man. It's actually not bad. It's not. Oh, good shot. I'll say it does feel quality. It does feel like if you play like too sweaty, maybe if I get more in depth in sweat fest, like a war zone game, I think at that point it might get a little, it might break down a little bit more. But as of right now, this feels really good. The I'll, I'll say my ADS essential, this right analog stick feels a little bit more loose. But man, this running, this running stick feels great. The left analog, it feels good, man. Grenades are good on here. I'm feeling good with grenades. Oh, I got somebody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're moving. We're moving in here, man. Real quick. I can get up real quick. See, even on my Xbox, my control was actually falling apart to where like, I wasn't even able to attack run this fast. I couldn't be able to like switch up. So, man, this controller is much needed. Performing pretty well to my liking, man. Hmm. Oh, I almost got him if I wasn't reloading. Dang it. See you later. Oh! The movement is silky smooth, but like what I said, this was just a new unboxing. So we we had to figure out like, you know, what's going to be better for us in the long term, I guess you could say. But it's always the same, the same start buttons and everything. So everything's good to go. Uh, can this work a 360 no scope? Let's try it out. <laughs> that didn't work. There you go. Oh, no. Oh no, whoa! And I was faster than me. You got me. Good stuff. There you go. That right there, my man, is how you work some guns. Oh no, wait, what? Oh, what? Let's see if we get all around this. <laughs> Bro, easy. I ran out of ammo. There you go. Oh, he's crawling on me. Like, I'm going to see if I can play like this where you can see kind of like where it changes colors. Check it out. Like while I'm playing, it's changing colors. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see that? Oh, it's a party. Like that. That's pretty dope, man. Pretty fresh. See what we ended up. Oh, look, the final kill is by me on our on our controller review today. Hey, man. Hey, we gets the final kill. You know, hey, it's pretty good. We're trying to just show y'all and give y'all some some in depth analysis. Let's check out the skill, uh, the stats. Point nine eight. There you go. Um, yeah, that's kind of the controller for the day by Prismatic, the Afterglow controller. Um, it actually, like what I said, it actually feels pretty quality. So, man, my man's, I, I, I mean, don't sleep on it. It's actually not bad. I think this was $34.99 USD that I got it for, and I tried it out on some Call of Duty, and it's pretty good, man. So, hit us up. If you like it, if you have any questions on it, let me know what's up. Uh, uh, if y'all want any updates on it, just leave me some comments. I'll give y'all later, month, a couple of months update after using this, man. Appreciate y'all. Peace. <laughs>